Right, everyone, we've got another image sent in to us to edit, and this one's been sent in by Kyle. So remember, all the artist's details are down in the description, so make sure you go give them a follow down there if you like their work. So we're going to come down and look at his feed, and there's a lot of shadows, and I really like how dramatic all the images are. And for the most part, he's using the natural colors that are in the image, and as you can see, we've got a lot of drone shots, and some unique perspectives on a lot of other shots. So a really unique feed, and we are going to be trying to recreate this exact edit here. So a nice teal and orange moody shot. So let's get into Lightroom and see what we can do. Okay, so in Lightroom, I'm gonna have to get rid of a lot of these shadows up the top here, while keeping a lot of these darker areas down the bottom of the road. And yeah, adding in some nice t blue and teals into the image. So, getting straight into it, I'm gonna bring exposure up and really warm it up by quite a bit. And adjust slightly. there so moving down I'm gonna drop the contrast drop the highlights as you can see our sky is pretty flat I'm gonna bring up the shadows to really bring out these buildings and then the whites quite a bit and drop those blacks for that contrast uh, clarity it's a pretty pretty sharpish looking image Bring out some mid-tones. Right, so I'm gonna work with the tone curve now. Gonna give it a pretty decent fade. Alright, so that's the curves done, and a really decent fade, and a bit of a boost in the highlights, not much, and then just did some color, color contrasting. So we're dropping the color, colors in the shadows, and slightly bringing them up in the highlights and midtones, and it creates a nice effect. So we are going to be moving on to some split toning. So this should really help us get that orange and teal look. So I'm going to go teal in the highlights, I think. Shadows. And then you can use the balance to see whether you want to adjust the shadows and highlights. Alright, I think that's looking okay. Uh, I'm going to I know this gives you a slight orange and teal shift if you move these green primaries. So you can see what that's doing. Might shift this across a little before we do HSL. And coming back up, we're going to really fine tune our colors now, hopefully. So reds, pretty on point. Oranges. I want to make them a bit more red. Just really trying to match it up now. You 
yellows are definitely way more orange as you can see greens not many greens in there aquas stay about there blues can go slightly on the more teal side and saturation a lot of things are desaturated really just trying to match it up might keep yellow up a little as you can see green is just affecting this car here and we just desaturate it Blue's quite too saturated. And a few purples in the sky. Luminance, uh, we've got really deep reds. You can see it's only affecting the deep reds. We'll drop that a bit. Oranges, a little bit of a shine. So our yellows. Gonna give them a good shine. Greens. You need a bit of shine to them, even though there's not many. Same with the blues. Brightened up a tad. And then just. Yeah. So gonna come down and his images have that really nice soft creamy look and you get that by very often just dropping just adding a tiny bit of haze I'm just gonna put a look I'm just, just gonna put that much in there uh, I'm not gonna do a vignette because as you can see the sides here have very little shadows same with the top and then we've got a lot of shadows down here so I'm going to use filters instead of a vignette and let's start doing that so a lot of his images are very dramatic and have quite dramatic lighting so filters can really help that Drop the exposure to an amount you think would look right, and then duplicate. Bring it on to the other side. And Maybe just one more on the bottom. Duplicate again. Bring it towards here. Yeah, straighten it up. Maybe less feathering. So it's a bit brighter up the road. As you see. Bring it down a bit.
and I think we are about done. Got that nice moody orange and teal look and then really nice darkened foreground. That really, this shot has a lot of leading lines. As you can see, all these lines are leading to the center of the image. And then that's been enhanced with these nice filters and uh, darkening the foreground. And one thing I notice is he's brought out this white line. So grab your brush and just brush over it. Play with the exposure. So I'm going to leave it there guys, make sure you go give him a follow in the description and give myself a follow, comment down below who you want to see because that helps me out a lot going and finding other people to reach out to and yeah check out my preset pack, I'm currently offering you guys my entire collection of presets so a huge amount of value there and leave a like, leave a comment and I'll catch you guys in the next one.